must be more creative than right-handers. And so I did a school project on it, and I discovered that there is no difference. <laughs> <laughs> was that your first paper? You published your first paper soon after? Well, yeah, I was in you know, sixth grade. No, that wasn't, that wasn't a published paper, alas. But that, yeah, that was actually my start on the brain. Right. And then you studied that your whole time here? I was a physics major here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so I ended up in, in neuroscience after, you know, after the fact. Some soul searching? Right, soul searching. <laughs> Brain searching. <laughs> so you wrote an article recently claiming that humans do not really have consciousness? Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Anything for the joke. <laughs> Then that we're keep calling consciousness. Well, of course, the the reality that I'm trying to describe is a bit more subtle than that, uh, <laughs> that sound bite. But, <laughs> but it is it is kind of, uh, I think that we attribute consciousness to things. I think that humans are very social animals, and we uh, have have a social capability that we attribute consciousness to to each other. We attribute consciousness to ourselves, and it helps us keep track of each other and ourselves, predict our behavior, and uh, we do this. We do this constantly. We, we even do this to things that don't have brains, I like mean, like my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We divorced amicably. <laughs> or maybe the transition you were looking for was like a puppet. Uh, it could be a puppet. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, so when did when did you start using a puppet? Did that come out of? <laughs> I mean, when did you like discuss, When did you get started in ventriloquism? It was a very desperate time. No, <laughs> you know, this this whole business of theorizing and studying consciousness scientifically actually started with ventriloquism, and it started with <laughs> the whole story. When my son was three years old, I started making a stuffed animal's talk. And, you know, I'm sure he's completely screwed up for life. <laughs> How often do you use him as a sounding board for your future neuroscientific work? <laughs> In this case, he was the sounding board. Actually, three is a great age because he was too young to know how bad I was. And I could actually practice and got, get better at it. And, and I began to realize just how incredibly potent this uh, illusion is of consciousness coming out of this thing when you know intellectually that it's... You know, it's there. I think it's, I don't know if it's there or not. We should put him in the MRI scanner. <laughs> Find out. So, Have you always been using brainless puppets? They don't unionize as easy. I think a puppet would play on the brainless one. <laughs> so, so my next question is a very important one. Can we meet Kevin? You can meet Kevin. He, I would you like that? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm sure that I was in, that Kevin was oh, my oh, 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 oh. and here he is. Hey, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm not Kevin. Uh, Excuse you're me? not. You're not. No. <laughs> who are well, you? Well, who are you then? I'm Taylor Swift. <laughs> yes, he's left. <laughs> well, so Kevin, when did you, uh, how do you know, how do you know about, how would an orangutan learn about Taylor Swift? What? I am her. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, uh, wait. <laughs> Who's Taylor, no. Taylor Swift? I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a blank space. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're, you're kind of... Well, <laughs> stop contradicting me. <laughs> they don't know. I could be. <laughs> Come on, you ruined it. <laughs> I think we know who wears the pants in their relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, there's a question for both of you. Yeah. How, in what ways, I know um, you must have some friends, Kevin must have some friends that, that are monkeys, and you used to study monkey brains before studying human brains. In what ways are monkey brains and human brains different? Well, they're um, very similar. Uh -huh. and which one, and uh, the follow-up question is which ones are better? <laughs> I don't have a brain. <laughs> I have a hand. <laughs> that, that's the answer. <laughs> I'm not a monkey. I'm an ape. <laughs> so are macaques, are macaques monkeys and apes? Were you studying ape brains or? Macaques. Were you studying macaques? Did you get Did he run for so president? Actually, we did. We, uh, of course, these days I study consciousness, which is very hard to study in a creature that doesn't talk. So <laughs> these days we study human primates. Uh, but like, ages ago we did we did macaques, and those are monkeys. Those are not apes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Kevin knows nothing. Kevin nor his hand. Huh? <laughs> not anything about what's going on with apes. What the what? <laughs> what did you used to do? <laughs> so you um, are both big fans of children. You've written three children books. Yes. How many children books? Three. Uh, three. Yeah. And you you write them under the name BB Words. Yes. How did? You <laughs> how many names were already taken? <laughs> I, I write lots of different kinds of books, scientific books, this, that, the other, literary books, and I sort of didn't want children accidentally picking up some book on the motor system, <laughs> thinking that it was going to be a children's book. So I just picked a different name, and of course the purpose of the pseudonym is not to hide my identity, just to label the books. And um, BB words means absolutely nothing as far as I can tell, and I never found out what the BB means. Uh, but he he is in fact uh, an orangutan. The author? Or DB Wurge. Is an orangutan? <laughs> Lives in, in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> He's my uncle. <laughs> and so I know in one of them you uh, the plot is a is a scientist uh, turns himself into an orangutan and goes looking for Leonardo da Vinci? Yeah, that's correct. It's called the Da Vinci Code. Is that inspired by your own life at all? or just? <laughs> I, uh, I, I did turn myself into an orangutan, but it turned back. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's actually, it's a father-son story. And, and, the, and the father indeed is a crazy scientist who turns himself into an orangutan, which is a little embarrassing to the son. He's at that age where parents are these kind of embarrassing things, but always turning themselves into this or that. Yeah. Orangutans, dripper. So does Kevin have any children or parents or just that one uncle? Uh, oh kids. Not yet. <laughs> but, but, do you want kids? Are you looking for a special <laughs> other thing? <laughs> I lack the anatomy. <laughs> you can adopt. <laughs> That's true. Puppet, it's really, there's a loophole for puppets to adopt. <laughs> Um, so, okay, for our final question, we wanted to invite uh, another special friend out to ask. Oh! <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> look at me! <laughs> Just look at my mouth! <laughs> I, I'm a prat! <laughs> Say, uh, I got a question for you, prat! What is it? Uh, when did you discover that you like to have men stick their hands up your butt? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not very comfortable. <laughs> 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 <laughs>